This presentation is for the classwork that's due on Thursday, January 21st. So the choice board here shows us the two choices. Number one is a critique, this time between two artworks. The first artwork is called Water Lilies in Japanese Bridge, painted in 1899 by Claude Monet, Impressionist painter. The second artwork is from the Marilyn Monroe series by artist Andy Warhol. So this is just slightly different than the normal critiques because you're going to kind of answer questions um, regarding both artworks. So first describe the artworks, then which one uses a color scheme you find more exciting or attractive, describe the texture of each painting, if you were go to go about making an artwork like this, what would you do first? What materials were, re were used and how was it created? And then what would you ask these artists if you could ask them anything? Lastly, what is your opinion of these artists? Do you prefer one over the, over the other? Why? How do they make you feel? Uh, that means the artwork, not the artist. And how does the artist achieve that? Now, the whole thing with this particular choice is, remember, this is color week and specifically color theory and color schemes. So when you're answering these questions, if you choose this choice for your classwork, please try to keep in mind that that is um, what you should be thinking about when you're describing, especially when you're um, talking about what you would ask them or thinking about um, and when you're um, comparing them and things like that. Not that you're limited to that, but do try to remember. Option two for classwork this week is a color scheme sheet. For those of you that have been into the coloring, this is something you can do on paper um, or you can do digitally in Photoshop or Fresco. Uh, you're going to complete each of the circles as directed, which is one of them is an analogous color scheme. One is a monochromatic color scheme and one is a complementary color scheme. And then, of course, you can use tints and shades of any of those colors. And then there's a reflection question slide. So here's the one that I did as a sample. There is a definition on the left hand side of this, but there's also a little description right on the paper itself, the resource itself. I also provided you um, a color wheel. And if you've done the color, a color wheel the last two weeks, you have already an awesome resource to use. So make sure that you're using. Um, the correct uh, sort of color resource when you're looking at um, your color wheels uh, and your resources and, and all of your planning. I just got really distracted actually because I'm looking at this color wheel as I'm talking and I realized that uh, it's more than 12 so I probably should change this because that's not the one that we use. So I, th I think I will swap that out. Uh, <laughs> just distracted me. And I wanted to talk to you about doing mine over here. So the analogous one, I used red, um, red, orange, and orange. So you can see that in my, um, in, in the range of colors that I use. Sometimes I layered two of those together. I used a couple different kinds of reds. I used a couple different kinds of orange. Okay. In the complementary, that's red and green. Um, I really only stuck with red and green in this um, photograph here. It looks almost like there's an orange in there, but I did not use any orange. It's just the particular variety of red, I think. And then um, monochromatic, that's all green, obviously, and just different uh, varieties of green, different pressures to get different values. And I also you let the white of the paper show through in a few places so that that could become um, white as part of the, you know, the value scale. So um, that's the second option. And you can see these questions here that you would accompany your piece with. Okay, so then the last thing I wanted to just include in this really quick is the calendar for the week. So this is due tomorrow, um, by tomorrow, Thursday, 121. And also remember tomorrow's class will be looking at the artworks for the week.